Hey guys, Hilton here with Yellow Sky Actions. It's been a while since I've done a video tutorial, so I'm going to do another one tonight for you guys. Um, this image right here, I chose to do a uh, video tutorial using this image. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it into a, um, this is by the way, uh, straight out of the camera. Um, I used a 5D Mark II for this shot, um, shot it in manual exposure. Um, I had used a 50 millimeter 1.2 lens, L lens, and the exposure was, um, aperture was 1.2, shutter speed was 1 640th uh, seconds, um, 1 dash 640th um, seconds was the shutter speed, and then uh, the ISO was uh, 100. Um, so we're going to take this photo from here to there. Again, here's the before and here's the after. I'm going to show you how we did it. All right. So, I have these actions preloaded and oh yeah, we're using the uh, big bundle set for CS3 through CS5 on this tutorial just to let you guys know. So, they are preloaded due to time to cut down on, um, you know, video time. Um, so, the first thing I ran was right on black and white from the right on set from the uh, black and white sapia set. Um, so we're going to run that at 100%. The next step, we're going to run uh, an action called exact sharp from the uh, essential set. And all it does is it sharpens, we wanted to sharpen this area. And I went in, clicked on this mask right here, and it's a white mask. And the reason why you see black. On the, at this area, uh, on this area right here, um, I'm tongue tied over here. <laughs> um, the reason why you see black is because we I have brushed it away, the sharp away from the background and from this area right here. That way, the subject, the focal point, really comes out at you. So, in order to do that, um, you click on this mask. Make sure that whenever there's a white mask, the uh, foreground is black. You select the paintbrush, and then we brushed it on around 50 percent. We brush it on um, this area around that area. So that's how we did it. Um, the next action that I ran was an action called Vintage Instant Photo from the color set, just to give it that, give it more of a tone. Okay, so there you go, right there. Here's the before, and that's with it. And we dropped the Vintage Instant down to 20% um, opacity. So after that. What we did was um, we went to we ran an action called dodge it burn it within the essential set, and what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in, and this uh, dodge it burn it is a brush, so the foreground is going to I mean the um, the layer mask is going to be black, and so you want to make sure the foreground's white. Select the brush, drop the brush size. And we're going to brush this on at, I'd say, 20% brush opacity. Just going to brush around those eyes. Even the whites, just a little bit. Whiten those, that up over there. Perfect. Um, next step, we're going to run um, an, an action called Iris Pop. Same thing, it's a brush, so the mask is black. Select the white foreground, the brush. We're going to brush it on at 20%, and this is just going to make it pop. Perfect. Um, we're going to zoom out just to see if it's a little too much. And it is a little too much, a little too much for my taste, so I'm going to go down to dodge it, and I'm going to drop it. It was at 100%. Here's what it looks like at 100%. I mean, it looks good. Kind of freaky to me. Um, but um, So I'm going to drop it back down. I'd say around 30, 35%. It was at 45. 35% uh, is good for me. Maybe 40. Perfect. Um, next step, we're going to run a, another brush action from the essential set called Soft Brush. 
And again, it's a brush, so black mask, white foreground, have the brush selected. We're going to increase the brush size. Make sure the brush opacity is at 100%. And we're just going to brush it on. Down here, we're just brushing around this area right here, even the background. And then what I did was I ran it twice because I wanted to really bring out that focal point right there. So I just ran soft brush again and I'm brushing it on to give it that double softness in the background and even down here. Um, so that's, the, uh, that's how to achieve the striking black and white um, look that, you, that we were going for. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a little pointer. Um, see these bags underneath the eyes? What we're going to do is, I'm going to show you how, and in previous tutorials, I'll show you how to do this. So, But I'm going to show you newbies who are watching this, again, how I do it. So we're going to duplicate this layer. We're going to zoom in. I hate calling them bags, but dark areas. That's probably the best way to describe it. See these dark areas right here? I'm going to show you how to get rid of them. So I'm going to drop the, um, the size of the brush. That's perfect right there. Um, I'm going to get the, um, the color picker and um, there's a sampler and we're just going to sample this area right underneath the eye. Go back to the brush at around 35% brush opacity. We're just going to brush that on. Same thing on this side. Sample from there underneath those dark areas. You'll be amazed how clean it makes it, how much more clean it makes it look. And I'll even zoom out just to make sure it looks good. I'll take I'll pick from this area here. Even brush just a little bit there. Perfect. Same thing on this side. right there and that's it guys that's what we're going for so that's the striking black and white that we're going for um, I hope this helps um, feel free to um, include any comments uh, I'm going to be posting this on the forum and on our Facebook fan page wall um, let me know if you have any questions and you guys have a great night